Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at some more binomial experiment probabilities. So let's say that a certain golfer makes her putts 70% of the time. If she putts 10 times, what is the probability that she will make half or less of her putts? So we know that this is a binomial experiment because we have a fixed number of trials, each of which is independent. She's going to put 10 times, and each putt is independent of the previous. We have only success or failure. She either makes it or she doesn't. Her probability of success for each individual putt is the same, 0.7. And we are counting the number of successes. So we are counting the number of times that she makes her putts. So we can use our binomial probability distribution or our binomial cumulative distribution function here, depending on what our situation is. So if she puts tens times and she wants, we want to know how many, how often or what is the probability that she will make half or less. Half of 10 would be five. So we could think of that as saying five or less. Five or less does include five. So our n, our number of trials will be 10. Our probability of success will be 0.7 for 70%. And we are going to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 5, because it's 5 or less. So our probability that x is less than or equal to 5 can be calculated by doing binomial. Here, since we're doing less than or equal to, that would be a cumulative distribution function of n, which is 10, comma p, which is 0.7, comma x, which is 5. And our probability there will be 0 0.1503. So she will make half or less only about 15% of the time. All right, using the same information, let's answer if she puts eight times, what is the probability that she will make five or more putts? So here we're looking at almost the opposite, five or more. So if we think about on a number line, five or more, so let's see. We have zero to eight, so zero, eight, let's see, this would be four, one, two, three, five, six, seven. So five or more would be from five and above, up to eight. Five to eight, that's five or more. Now, we could find the probability of her making five putts, six putts, seven putts, and eight putts, and add them up. But we have already said that would kind of be tedious. So we'd like to figure out how could we use our CDF, our cumulative distribution function, to help us out here. Well, our cumulative distribution function only tells us how to find a value or below. So what we could do is we could use the cumulative distribution function to find four or less and since those two are complements of each other, 0 to 4 and 5 to 8 make up all the possible outcomes, then 1 minus the probability of being less than or equal to 4 should be equal to the probability of being greater than or equal to 5. So essentially we're saying, okay, we want to be 5 or more. Let's find the probability of being below that using our CDF and do one minus. So gathering up my information, my number of putts is eight. My probability of success is 0.7. And I am gonna calculate the probability of being less than or equal to four first. So my probability of being less than or equal to four will be binomial CDF of 
eight putts, 0.7% chance of making it, and four. Okay, and let's see what that will be. We have eight trials. Okay, so that is 0 0.1941. So that's our probability of making four or less. So taking that and combining our probability of making five or more will be one minus 0.1941 or 0.8059. So when we need to find the probability of making one number or more on a binomial probability experiment, we need to do one minus whatever is fewer than that. All right, guys, that does it for this video on binomial experiment probabilities. We'll catch you in the next one.